being busy, great, right? Everybody wants to be busy. It's really positive. You get lots of things done. People praise you. Wonderful. Fantastic. Great job, Bob. Here's your promotion for being the busiest guy around. The reality is, is busyness can get you to a certain point in your career. I spoke last time about an addiction to being business and the dangers that it presents to you and those around you. Today, I want to talk about accountability and accountability for some of the bad behaviours that come from being too busy. So let's talk about that then. I use the word accountability there. And for many of us, we know, we think we know what accountability means, right? Accountability means doing the things you say you're going to do, right? Setting deadlines, meeting deadlines, doing the stuff that you need to do. And the reality is, is that definition of accountability is a surface level definition at best. We'll talk in the next video about actually deadlines and why that can be a dangerous thing in an organisation. But today I want to talk about a different type of accountability, and that's accountability for behaviour. Now, we talked last time about being busy and how that can be addictive. What I want to talk about today is some of the bad results that could come from being too busy a lot of the time. Okay, Some of the things that cause challenges in the organisation if you or many people in your organisation are busy. And the most obvious of them is the kind of expectation you have that everybody else is going to be as busy and as productive as you. And it's simply not going to be the case for everybody. If you're super busy all the time, you've got high expectations that everybody else is. You're working long hours. Maybe your expectations are that everybody else works long hours. Not everybody's built like that. Not everybody can do that. Not everybody gets the buzz from being busy like you do. Everybody's a bit different in that regard. And also what can happen again if you're super busy is you don't take the time to step back and look at the bigger picture. Are you doing the right things? Are we moving in the right direction? Or am I just creating motion and motion and motion for the sake of it by being busy? Am I changing my mind a lot of the time? Am I drawn by different ideas or different ways of thinking? Am I spending really spending time looking at the strategic direction of where I need to be going? Or am I saying things to myself like, I'm just too busy, I can't, I haven't got time to do that. The reality is, is that's, again, poor behaviour. If you're not looking to the future or larger, more strategic objectives, that's not in good service of the organisation and it's certainly not good in good service of you. Okay? It's about taking accountability time for your behaviour. But often it can be worse. So people who are often busy have or struggle to control their emotions a lot of the time because they're tired, they're exhausted. Often they're burnt out and they struggle to really control emotions, emotions like anger, other emotions which are, you know, protecting things underneath like blame. You can blame others for not doing the things that you want. It's easy to go to those places of anger and blame when you're tired and exhausted. It's much easier for your brain to go to those places rather than actually really trying to see what's going on. Busyness can increase the chances and the likelihoods of those behaviours being like that in your organisation. Do you want those emotions to be present in your organisation? Are they a positive thing? Anger can work in the short term for getting things done. But ultimately, long term, you know it's not a successful way to manage a business by getting angry at people. So taking accountability for the behaviours that come from being super busy and focusing on getting a lot of things done versus getting the right things done can cause real detrimental effects to the organisation and to you. This is part three of a series about being too busy. In part four, I'm going to talk about, well, how do we change this? How do we look at the future? How do we spend time better? So rather than thinking about spending time, how do we invest our time in the right things? So what are the solutions to getting over this busy challenge that we're facing?